Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. Here is an important recruitment notification from NEELIT. Okay, so National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology which is run by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. So to see the details of this notification, you have to use this URL nielit.gov.in slash recruitments. So when you go into this URL, so here you can observe recruitment for the posts of scientific assistants in STQC on direct recruitment basis. So advertisement number is given. So try to remember this advertisement number dear students for all future correspondence this will be helpful to you. So advertisement number is nielit slash ndl slash stqc slash 2025 slash 1. Okay. So you need to register online from 17th February 2025, 11.30 a.m. to March 18th, 2025, up to 5.30 p.m. So, last date to register is 18th March 2025, up to 5.30 p.m. So, if you click on this, then this will redirect to a link here. So, STQC re recruitment. So, he here you can observe STQC scientific assistant recruitment 2025 advertisement number is given. So, this is a new notification. Start date for submission of applications is 17th February 2025 from 11.30 a.m. Then last date for submission of applications is 18th March 2025 up to 5.30 p.m. Already you know about this one. So, if you click here, then the home page, this will open here. Here you can observe the title detailed advertisement is there. Stream wise syllabus for written examination for the post of scientific assistant. See, there will be a written test dear students. Based on the written test marks only, the selection will be there. Okay. So, here he has given for three different streams, computer science, information technology, electronics and communication. Okay. Date of publishing of this detailed advertisement is 14th February 2025. Here you can observe that date also. So, here stream wise syllabus is there. Click on this one. So, syllabus will open. For example, if I click on information technology, syllabus has opened. Here you can see engineering mathematics is there. Then information technology related subjects are there here dear students kindly go through the information like that. Similarly for electronics and communication and computer science also syllabus is there kindly go through the syllabus and prepare accordingly. So here you can observe instructions for filling application, new user registration and login. Now first of all let us see new user registration. So once you click on new user registration, so this registration document will open here candidate first name, middle name, last name is there, father's name, mother's name, guardian name is there, gender, date of birth, category. So whether PWBD with 40% or more disability that is what he has given. Then identity details. So here you have to see this drop down menu and give the ID card details here. Then enter your ID card number it is asking mobile number email ID. Then desired password and confirm password then you have to go for the declaration I agree if you click on this button then you can continue. So the application process will go like this dear students kindly go through this information. So there is detailed instructions for filling the application. So you can see the detailed instructions for filling the application dear students. So here there is a 28 page document. So where the detailed instructions are given. So I will show you some of the details, major details. Active mobile number should be there, valid and active email address, scanned copy of photograph, JPEG or JPG along with signature. Each applicant should affix his her recent color passport size photograph of size 3.5 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters on a white paper and then append his her signatures with black pen in another box of 3.5 centimeters by 1.5 centimeters below the photograph on the same paper. Scan the above photo and signature in a single file in JPG format of size not more than 50 KB to upload the same at appropriate space provided in the online application form. Sample image is given below. So you have to put a photo like this. Below that photo you have to sign. Okay. So see width is 3.5 centimeters height 4.5 centimeters for the photograph. 
and height 1.5 centimeters for the signature. So both you have to do it, you have to paste the photo on the white paper just below that in this particular box a signature should be done. Then you have to scan this and then upload the thing. Then scanned copy of signature, each applicant shall affix his her signature of 3.5 centimeters by 1.5 centimeters on a white paper with black pen. Scan the above signature in the JPG format. So signature also you have to scan in the JPG format and then upload. So scanned copy of class 10 certificate having date of birth, size not exceeding 250 KB. So scanned copy of mark sheets and degree of essential qualification upload as a single PDF file for both, size not exceeding 1000 KB. So scanned copy of category certificate EWS, then person with disability certificate, all these whichever required, scanned copy of photo ID card of which the details have been provided at the time of registration, size not exceeding 250 KB. So online payment you can do it through credit, debit, net banking etc. That is what he has given. So important instructions for filling the application form. So before proceeding to registration and applying for the post, you must ensure that the autofill autocomplete data of your browser is cleared. So the instructions regarding how to clear delete the autofill autocomplete data is provided at page 22 onwards. So he has given some instructions in a highlighted way, kindly go through these instructions. So yellow color highlighter has been used in order to highlight the instructions. Any claim of reserved category shall be admissible only if the certificates for reservation are obtained prior to the closing date of receiving application and are valid on the date of submitting application form. So in case fee is applicable and candidate is not able to submit fee by enclosing by closing date and time or the application is otherwise incomplete, his her candidature will summarily be rejected. So if fee is not applicable, candidate must click on submit application button to complete the application otherwise it will be treated as incomplete and will be rejected. Applicant is required to make sure that application status on the application form is submitted successfully. Okay, so you have to click on the submit and once it is showing submitted successfully till that time you have to be very much careful dear students dear students okay so application status should be given as submitted successfully kindly go through all these instructions carefully so entire document is there related to instructions how to register everything was gi given in detail dear students so kindly go through each and every point before applying Okay, now let us see the details of this notification. So the number of vacancies here, scientific assistant, total number of vacancies are 78. So total number of vacancies are 78 dear students, unreserved category 13, EWS 20, SC 16, ST 3, OBC 26. So scale of pay is level 6, 35,400 to 1,12,400 is the scale of pay. That is what is given. Essential qualification, BE, BTEC, MSc in any one or in the combination of the following. Electronics or electronics and communication or electronics and telecommunication, computer science, computer and networking security, software system, information technology, electrical informatics. So age limit, upper age limit is up to 30 years as on closing date and selection process selection process is through written test objective type only okay so there is a written test already i have shown you where the syllabus will be there so mathematics is there and technical subjects are there so kindly go through that information of the written test so details of the vacancies here total vacancies 78 computer science 19 vacancies are there so computer science 19 vacancies information technology 16 vacancies EC 43 vacancies are there. Okay, total 78 vacancies. The breakdown of the vacancies based on the category wise is given clearly here. Kindly go through this information. Then, upper age limit as denoted in table above as on closing date of receipt of applications is 18th March 2025. So, upper age limit is 30 years, he said. So that 30 years limit is based on this particular date, dear students, 18th March 2025. The upper age limit in respect of SCST, OBC, wherever posts are reserved and persons with disabilities, 
minimum 40% disability and other special categories of persons shall be relaxable as per government rules and orders issued from time to time. So this information is given, right? Up to 5 years in case of SCST, 3 years for OBC category and 10 years for PWBD category and 15 years for SCST and 13 years for OBC in PWBD category. So kindly go through these relaxations carefully dear students. For ex-servicemen there will be different category. So kindly go through that. Then place of posting. The person selected may be posted anywhere in India in the interest of the organization. Change in the number of posts. The number of vacancies indicated in the above table are tentative and may increase or decrease depending upon the requirement. So it might increase or decrease depending upon the requirement. Then choice of center for written examination as there is a written examination so centers were given here Agartala, Bangalore, Calicut, Chandigarh, Chennai, Delhi, Gauhati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jammu, Kolkata, Lucknow, Mumbai and Patna 14 centers were there so kindly go through that then coming to the scheme of written examination and selection process for the post of scientific assistant so here you can see the written examination will be objective type and OMR based examination so OMR based examination, it is not computer based test dear students, kindly go through that. Then consisting of questions from technical and generic area, the duration of the written test is 3 hours. Then there will be a total of 120 objective type questions, consisting of 65% questions from technical area of respective stream and 35% questions from generic area. Then every question will carry one mark and there will be negative marking of 0.25 mark for each wrong answer. So one fourth negative marking is there dear students. Cut off marks for qualifying the written examination will be 50% for general EWS category, 40% for OBC candidates and 30% for SCST PWBD candidates. The cut off marks specified would be applicable in overall marks that is technical and generic combined as well as for each section or area technical or generic separately. So the generic area will comprise of logical, analytical reasoning capabilities, quantitative and qualitative abilities and general awareness and aptitude. So kindly go through this dear students, generic area means you will be having aptitude and reasoning, then general awareness also will be asked. Then stream wise syllabus for written examination for the post of scientific assistant is available in the URL given. So already I have shown you where the syllabus will be there. Then selection process for the post of scientific assistant. Selection will be on the basis of written test only. Merit list will be prepared stream wise and vacancies will be filled stream wise as per reservation. For posts where vacancies are reserved for PWBD candidates, common merit list of PWBD candidates irrespective of stream and category will be prepared. The offer of appointment would be issued to the candidates in order of merit and availability of vacancies. In case more than one candidate secure equal marks, tie will be resolved by date of birth with older candidate placed higher in merit. So verification of requisite documents will be done before joining in respect of the post of scientific assistant. So how to apply? Already I have shown you how you have to apply online here. So kindly go through this information dear students. So the starting date of online application is 17th February 2025 from 11.30 am. So already the application process has started. So kindly go through that. So and you need to ensure the application status on the application form. You should see this one submitted successfully till that the process is not completed dear students. Once you can see this submitted successfully then your application is properly submitted. Otherwise, you have to check once again and see what is the problem. Then application fees. So SCST, PWBD, women candidates. So there is no application fee. General and all other categories, 800 per application. So this is what he has given. The processing charges towards remittance of application fee and service tax, if any, will have to be borne by the candidate. Fee through any other mode like demand draft, pay order, check or chalan will not be accepted. So actions against misconduct, so kindly go through this information, important instructions and information. So here citizenship, a candidate must be either a citizen of India or a subject of Nepal or a subject of Bhutan 
or a Tibetan refugee who came over to India before 1st January 1962 with the intention of permanently settling in India. So like this or a person of Indian origin who has been migrated from who has migrated from Pakistan, Burma, Sri Lanka or East African countries of Kenya, Uganda and the United Re Republic of Tanzania. Okay. Then Zambia like this they have given some information kindly go through that dear students. The cutoff date for calculating the age as well as the completion of eligibility conditions with regard to the essential qualification will be 18th March 2025 that is the last date of submission of online application form. The cutoff date will remain unchanged even in case of extension of the closing date of submission of application form. So even if they extend the submission of online application form this cutoff date will not change that is what he is giving here so kindly go through this information dear students so the last date to apply for this is 18th march 2025 up to 5 30 pm dear students so computer science students information technology electronics electrical engineering students are eligible to apply so kindly apply for this this is a very good position dear students thank you all the very best Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. Here is an important recruitment notification from NEELIT. Okay, so National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology which is run by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. So to see the details of this notification, you have to use this URL nie 